Hello everyone. How are you all today? <laughs> My little buddy, he is trying to take a nap and I decided I'm going to make a video. I had to share my production supervisor with you all. He is um, perching up here on the top of the couch like a cat. He is my little heartbeat. Um, he goes everywhere with me and oh goodness, he is protective of his mom. And he's thinking I might have a treat in my hand, which he would be right because he sat there so still. He is my little precious boy. Wanted to start my video out just sharing my little buddy with you. And I thought I would share with you some happy things today. Um, some of my subscribers have been wanting to see my dendrobium forest and I just wanted to show you the root growth on this dendrobium. It has grown this new growth here and look at all these roots. They're actually spilling out over the container. I have new canes growing out everywhere. Here's one on this one. On this little miniature, I have two new canes. So they just keep growing, and I am waiting for blooms, which I'm sure they will. This one is a really, really nice one. Uh, this one is Burma Jade Fantasy number nine. I don't know if you can read that, but I actually tape that to the outside of the container. And this is a basil kiki that um, grew from this plant. And the kiki is doing really, really well. Here's some more canes growing. You can just see they're just growing leaves and roots and leaves and roots. And I know you all recognize my beautiful catalea that just came out of bloom not too long ago. Here is the new growth, um, one of them. And um, what I want to show you is all of these canes have two leaves. All of them. I've, I've looked at every single one of them. This one has three. That is just one of those things that I think, okay, wonder what this means. This one didn't want to have just two leaves. It wanted to have three leaves. And I also have a new growth right through here. So this one is coming along as well. I just noticed it about a week ago. So it has grown pretty fast too. And this is my red margined Dracaena that keeps my bark fowls company. Um, this Dracaena I've had for 14 years. It used to stay in my daughter's room on her bookshelf and it outgrew her bookshelf. It's very interesting the way this one was um, trained to grow. It was knotted at the bottom there as you see and so we just keep we just keep training it around and around to try to keep that unusual shape but it has really it has really really grown this plant is just very easy to grow and it stays here beside my my bark fowls thought I would also show you my third spike is growing. My goodness, that one has really grown fast. Here's this one. I'm hoping it grows a secondary spike. The last bloom finally fell off from here, so I'm not going to do anything with that until I figure out where it's going to rebloom because I'm sure it will. So I could possibly have three spikes on this plant. That makes me very, very happy. Here's my other Dracaena. I named this after my husband and me because there's two of them in there. This is Tiho and Amy. And these are my Christmas cactus plants. Actually, these are my Christmas Easter cactus plants because they bloomed off and on for about six months last year. So they like to sit by this window. And another thing that makes me happy, Vanda roots. Look at all the roots on my Vandas. Um, they have grown substantially this summer, so look at the, the foliage is just beautiful. Um, I left this yellow leaf on here because um, sometimes, you know, you get a yellow leaf and it's nothing to be concerned about. But these are doing 
exceptionally well. And if you'll remember last year, I did put some of my dendrobiums in bark uh, just to kind of see which one did better, the ones in bark or the ones in water culture. These are doing very well. Um, they have been in bark for a year. And actually when I got this one, it was in this pot, so it didn't skip a beat. Um, but I think that both the ones I have in bark and the ones that I have in water culture are just beautiful and thriving and doing so very well. This one has variegated leaves. Let me see if I can find it right here. I think that is just really, really cool. And this is what is blooming in my kitchen display at the moment. My beautiful blue Vanda is still blooming and the roots on it are doing exceptionally well. They have grown so much through the summer. Um, I've noticed that my miniature fall intensity uh, has a spike. You can just barely see it, but it is spiking. So I am really excited about that. My foul legato who has her very own fan club. Here she is with these blooms. And here we are at the end of the tour. Um, the fowls that I have down in the Svanga Moss are all doing very well with new roots. And I noticed that this one that's in water culture, um, I believe that it has a spike starting as well. Um, I will show you that the next time because it's just started so you can barely see it. But I know these things just as soon as a spike starts, I know. So I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you for touring with me today and be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed. And we'll see you next time.